Hi everybody, hope you're well. This video is about Dabson. And yes, there's two of these, there is one to give away. But I did a video some time back about their bigger unit, which was absolutely fantastic and probably one of the best, if not the best power units I reviewed last year. And uh, I said, when I reviewed that, you need to keep an eye on this company. It's a new company, you need to keep an eye on them. Well, they've produced another power unit and they've sent me two. Um, and they've sent me to want to give away, but also to show something they've done different yet again. So these are the Dabsum DBS 1300s. But the difference with these as a power pack is you can get this. And this unit here can link two of their power stations together. Not just to double the capacity of the batteries like a lot of the others do but actually double the capacity of the inverter. Another new idea from a company, and they're really doing well at Dabson. They're using particularly new specialized batteries that are super safe. The design functions on them are really good. And then they come up with things like this. And one of the real reasons I like about this is you can buy backup batteries for this as well. But if you buy a backup battery, for a normal power station like these or any of the others on the market you're just increasing the capacity so with this one you'd still only have 1300 watts of power output but it'd last for longer because you've extended the battery capacity with this idea you can buy one of these and they're they are not expensive compared to other units so you can buy one of these i know money's tight for people you can use this and when you come to the point like everybody tends to i want more power you're not just buying a backup battery to look at your capacity you're buying a separate head unit like this a separate power unit to plug in plug into it which you can use independently or you can join them together with that lead to give you twice as much power and twice as much output. So let's have a look in more detail at them. So these two units are exactly the same and as I say we will be giving one of these away and I'm sorry I'll have to be in the UK only because we're really struggling to do postage on lithium batteries or any batteries of any size really nowadays. So there will be one of these to give away and it's the usual way we do it. Down in the description of this video you need to be a subscriber, you need to leave the comment I want one and we randomly pick through and in a future video we'll announce the winner and show a slide of that winner who's won the actual unit. We cover all the postage and everything else so there's no cost to you. I think it's going to start raining soon so we'll get this bit done as soon as we can outside and we'll take them back to the cottage and we'll test them about the capacity and see if they do what they're supposed to do, particularly with the two linked together. So as I said in the introduction, the thing I like about this, and it's quite unique, is there's lots of companies now that supply power units that you can buy a backup battery. So it's a big investment and you never really know how much power you need in your camper van or wherever you're going to use it for off grid until you've used it for a while. And what generally happens is everybody wants more and more power. And instead of buying a massive unit to start with and laying all that money out, you can buy a smaller unit and buy a backup battery and expand the capacity. But the difference with this is you, do, you can do all that and you can buy a backup battery to do it and a number of backup batteries to expand the capacity. But when you link these two together using this, it's not just the capacity, it doubles the inverter as well which is really clever, really clever way of doing it. So you can invest in one of these, you can buy one of these, put it in your camper van, and it might do you for the rest of your life. The rest of the time you're out in your camper van, this might be all you need in a power pack at 1,300 watts. But if you want to start to get into off-grid living, um, even if it's for a few days camping, or car camping, or you start, you start wanting to use electrical products for cooking, the old air fryers, um, pizza ovens, electric kettles, everything else, you may need some more power output and some more capacity. And that's where these come in. But having two small ones, it also makes it more flexible. So you could leave one in your house, you could have one in your camper van. If you go fishing or metal detecting or going out in your car with, a, with an e-bike and you want to top it up while you're there or on the way, you could just take one of them. You don't have to take a big unit. So the, the flexibility and the idea of this, I really, really like. And I think Dabson is a company to keep an eye on. 
the power pack solar generators whatever you want to call them market there's lots of companies out there and there's lots of companies that have been out there for a long time but these are new into the market they've come up with this new battery structure and these new battery structure are flat batteries so you can get more in them and on their website if you check the website below you can look on there and there's some videos of that drone breaking the batteries and if you think back to when lithium first came out the old lithium iron batteries it was quite dangerous and if you smash them they could burst into flames and give off heat lithium phosphate got better and then these are like the new generation which are even better still so super safe great technology and more capacity so keep an eye out for dabson they're definitely a company to keep an eye on these are not ridiculously expensive as well compared to some other units at this size um, and what you get with a unit so one single unit like that you'll get a charging lead so there's no charging brick you get your solar lead and you get your car charging lead so everything you really need to get straight on the road and use this with solar charging from your van or your camper van or just charging it from the mains with a normal lead no charging brick when you buy two of these you have to buy this unit separate and i'll put all the prices in the description below and if there's any offers or any discount codes i don't always get the prices for everything until i finish the video so some of these products are brand new out and they're still doing the marketing and the information about it so when i get the information for the video going out i'll put all the information below or if i get it as i'm editing i'll put it down at the bottom of the screen but you buy this unit separate on the, the end of the unit there's a little flap you lift up there and there's all your inputs so there's a data connection there which must go to some sort of monitor now I haven't seen that monitor but I'm anticipating that's a wall monitor that will give you all the information you need to understand what's happening on with this unit there's an overcharge um, there so if something goes wrong it's like a reset button that's where your mains power goes in and that's your input for your solar in your car and then these are the extension ports for external batteries so if you're not linking two main units together and using extension batteries that's where these fit in and the daisy chain you can put quite a few of these together so that's one side of it we've just looked at that's the other side fans on here fans on here to keep it cool and on this side you've got your four three pin plugs the AC on and off button and then you have this port here and this port here is the one you use to link these two together to extend the capacity of the outcome and the volume of the battery so there we have it the two leads plug into the back and then a little red light comes on here to say it's powered and you have three three pin sockets on there and they're 230 volts at 10 amps is ideal and then you have this multi-port and this is like a camper van socket you can buy a plug to this to run into a wiring system in your camper van or plug it to a hookup you can buy an adapter for that and this is 230 volts at 30 amps so those two units are running together and there's an indicator on the screen you probably can't see it here to show that they're actually linked together of course these have an app so you can control these with an app individually sockets on the front you have the obligatory light you have two 5 volt 2.4 amp sockets a usb a fast charge socket and then a pd30 uh, sorry a pd 30 watt and a pd 100 watt the two barrel connections at 4 amps and the obligatory cigarette socket at 10 amps it would have been amazing if this was 30 amps if i'd have had a socket on there for 30 amps but you never know that might come obviously that's exactly the same unit when you plug in these in there is a sequence you're supposed to switch the units off make sure the ac is off plug both the units in and then switch both the units on afterwards thing on the back so you can put them in a cupboard flat to a wall the vents are on the side so you need to keep some space but this handle sticks out slightly and that handle gives a bit of space for the vents you do need to give enough space for the air to run through handles on the top no through charging for a phone on there and that doesn't bother me i never use it i've got a number of power packs that have the through charging on so you can just lay your phone on the top and it'll charge but every time i want to charge my phone and it's flat i want to use it for something and you can't really do it while it's laid on top of there you want it in your hand so i'm quite happy to put plug a cable in 
Now I think it's probably best we take these back into the cottage where we can do some tests on them and have a better light and hopefully we won't get so wet. So we're back in the cottage. I've got these two units linked together with a junction box. And these pizza ovens take 1,200 watts each. So they're both linked together. Just put the AC on on both of them. And I'll plug one pizza oven in to the junction box. So that should be the capacity of one unit. It's come on and it's balancing it out between the two, look. So there's 620 watts on there and 517 on there. So it seems to be running that okay. So let's plug another one in. And there we have 1200 watts on that one and 1200 watts on that one. So that's absolutely fine, but linked together through the actual unit. Let's see what else we can plug in just to push it a bit further. So this toaster is 1,400 watts. Let's turn it on full. Yep, 1,400 on one and 1,500 on the other, and it's running both of those. That is impressive, that is very impressive. And of course you can put extension batteries onto these and one of these units will take up to 10 kilowatt hours of extension batteries. It's saying how much power is going out, how long it's going to last and the percentage. The fans are obviously running to keep it cold but they're not over noisy. Well, that is impressive. So we've got, let's say, three kilowatts of power coming out of those two units together linked. It's getting very warm in here. <laughs> They're great, those pizza ovens. We have one in the house and one in the camper van. And uh, you get a lot of envy from people when you're camping and they see you making pizzas. So that works fine. It does exactly what it was supposed to do. I'm really impressed with that and that's a really clever idea. I hope to see that capacity boosting on more power packs because it's so useful. Because if, as I said at the beginning, if you buy one of these, you know, these are a good price for the size and it's that sort of capacity where you can use it for lots of different things and you can use it for backup in the house. But eventually, if you want to have more power, you could buy a backup battery which will be cheaper than buying another one of these and you can plug it in and you can you can actually buy a number of them which will take this up to almost 10 kilowatt hours of power which is incredible or you can buy another one of these at the same price you can use them independently so you could place them independently or have one in the house and one in your camper van or caravan or whatever and then when you wanted to you can link them together to get additional capacity through the inverter through one lead so it's all right if you've got separate appliances that take over um, 1,200 watts. But if this was one unit and it took the um, 2,400 watts or whatever we got it up to, 3,000 watts I think we got it up to, didn't we, with the toaster, you'd only have one lead. So you couldn't plug half and half into each unit. You have to have them combined through that charging, that joint unit there. Hope that makes sense. It makes sense to me anyhow. So let's just check it in our off-grid um, switching unit. Um, I'll just use one of them in the off-grid switching unit just to check how good the inverter is when we plug it into our mains. And there's Louis being no help whatsoever. Hey Louis. You've seen our videos before, you'll be familiar with this, but uh, this is our off-grid switching unit. So that takes the mains from outside through this unit and up into a standard open fuse box. And we test all our units on this to see how good the inverter is. Because when we switch this switch over here, that turns everything off in the house, in the cottage. And then we switch it over to generator it transforms it to the power out of this. 
we're not looking how much power it's drawing really there's not a lot running in the house the internet and the tv and a few lights but what we know previous from this sort of test is if this is not a good sine wave inverter the switches will flick off on there and as you can see none of them have so i've only done this on one unit i'm sure it'll be the same with the two on because the inverters are just the same good display on this gives you the information you need how long it's going to last running that amount of power how much percentage that would say how much power is going in it's on 50 hertz and um, that flashing thing there is for the app it does have an app where you can control most of the functions from there so there you have it another great product from dabson and so many great features this new battery system that's in this that gives you more recycling uh, recharging before it drops to 80 percent so normally out of life of four batteries you'd get 10 years um 3500 plus they're talking about 15 years with these because of this new battery system which is brilliant the idea that you can link two together and as you saw this exercise we did here um this is 1200 1200 and 1400 and as well as managing to run all these through these joint units the actual management system inside drops the voltage slightly and ups the amps to cope with that additional capacity even over the capacity of these units which is very very clever and the price of these um ridiculous price for these normally you would a power unit like this without these additional battery new batteries in and these functions you're like uh, a thousand watt um, power unit is like a thousand pound so these are fantastic value and they come with a five-year warranty as well really like dabson keep an eye on them i'm really interested to see what they come out with next and of course we've got one of these to give away so the giveaway as we've said before you need to be a subscriber you need to be in the uk we'll cover all the costs and in a future video we'll announce the winner by putting the slide in the video so keep checking the videos out to see if you've managed to win one of these babies thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one